This video is made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest updates. And then we'd like to thank South Peninsula High School for allowing us to use their question papers. Today we are going to be discussing question 2 of the November 2017 Grade 8 paper. 2.1.1 says determine the LCM of 28 and 196 using prime factorization. What's the easiest method to use? I prefer to use the ladder method. So let's do that. How do we do the ladder method? We need to divide by prime numbers. So we have the number 28 and what we have on the left hand side can only be a prime number. So we say that 28 divided by 2 is 14 and what we do now is divide by the next prime number that divides into 14. What's the easiest one? The easiest one is 2. So now we say 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now 2 doesn't divide into 7 again. What prime number divides into 7? 7 itself and 7 divided by 7 is 1. What we're going to do now is we are going to do the same thing with 196. So with 196 we divide by 2 and our answer is 98. Um, and then we've got to work out 98 divided by 2. That gives us 49. What prime number divides into 49? 7. That's correct. 49 divided by 7 is 7 and 7 divides into itself one time. So 28 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7 and 196 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7 times 7. What do we do now? We need to see what the lowest common multiple will be. Now the lowest common multiple will be a multiple of 28 and 196. So 28 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7 and 196 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7 times 7. What we need to do now is group the ones that are the same. So we've grouped 2 and 2 and what we do is write down, because they are grouped, we write down 2. That's grouped, so we write down another 2. That's grouped, so we write down 7 and this is a single so we include that as well. So the lowest common multiple will be 2 times 2 times 7 times 7, which is 196. And therefore your LCM is 196. Let's answer the next question. 2.1.2 says, hence find the square root of 196 using prime factors. So 196 is equal to 2 squared times 7 squared. We determined that in the previous question. So now we need to take the square root of 2 squared times 7 squared, which is the same thing as the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 7 squared. What happens when we take the square root of a square? The square and the square root cancel each other out. And the square and the square root also cancel each other out. That will give us 14. So the square root of 196 is 14. 2.2.1 says that we need to simplify the following. 2 over 8 plus 5 over 16 times 2 over 5. So we know according to odd mass rules we need to work this out first. 5 over 16 multiplied by 2 over 5. So we can go ahead and cross cancel. 5 goes into itself once, 5 goes into itself once, 2 goes into itself once, and 2 goes into 16 8 times. What does that leave us with? 1 times 1 is 1, and 8 times 1 is 8. And 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is 3 over 8. Let's look at the next question. 2.2.2 .2 is 2 times 6 times negative 5. So 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 
and 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. Please don't forget that we have to say positive times a negative is a negative in order to simplify that. That's an invisible plus. And then 12 times 5 is 60. Let's look at our last question, 2.2.3. Negative 2 squared divided by, and in brackets, we've got 6 times negative 4, close brackets. According to bod mass rules, we need to first work out our brackets. What is negative 2 squared? Negative 2 squared is the same thing as negative 2 times negative 2. What is negative 2 times negative 2? It is positive 4. And let's work this out. 6 times negative 4. Positive times a negative is a negative. And 6 times 4 is 24. So that gives us negative 4 over 24, which we need to simplify. What divides into 4 that divides into 24? 4, that's correct. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. 24 divided by 4 is 6, leaving us with an answer of negative 1 over 6. Thank you for watching with us. And then if you need tuition in maths, English, Afrikaans, physics or accounting, please contact me on the number on the screen. We'll see you again soon.